Hey there, welcome to this video on how to learn to code in six months, a step-by-step -step guide. In this video, we'll go through a step-by-step -step process that will help you become a proficient coder in just six months. Whether you're looking to switch careers, build your own app, or just learn a new skill, this guide is for you. So let's get started. The first step to learning to code is to choose a programming language. There are many programming languages out there, each with its own unique syntax capabilities and use cases. Some popular languages include Python, Java, JavaScript, and Ruby. It's important to choose a language that fits your interests and goals. For example, if you're interested in web development, you may want to learn JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. On the other hand, if you're interested in data analysis, you may want to focus on Python and its libraries like NumPy and Pandas. Once you have chosen a programming language, it's time to set your learning goals. What do you want to achieve in six months? Do you want to build a web app, a mobile app, or just gain a general understanding of programming concepts? Setting clear goals will help you stay motivated and focused throughout your learning journey. Make sure your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound smart. For example, your goal might be to build a simple web app using React and Node.js within six months. There are many resources available for learning to code, including books, online courses, and coding boot camps. Consider your learning style and budget when choosing a resource. Boot camps, on the other hand, are immersive and intensive programs that can provide more structured learning and mentorship. Once you have chosen a learning resource, it's time to create a learning plan. Break your learning goals down into smaller, manageable tasks and schedule regular study sessions. Your learning plan should include both theoretical and practical aspects of coding. For example, you might spend some time each day reading about programming concepts and then practice coding exercises or working on projects. Learning to code takes practice, so be prepared to spend a lot of time coding. Start with simple projects and work your way up to more complex ones. Coding challenges and exercises are great ways to practice your coding skills. Websites like HackerRank and LeetCode offer coding challenges and puzzles that can help you improve your problem-solving abilities. Joining a coding community can be incredibly helpful when you're learning to code. You can connect with other coders, ask for help when you're stuck, and learn from others' experiences. Online coding communities like Reddit, GitHub, and Stack Overflow offer forums and discussions where you can ask questions and share your code. You can also join local coding groups or attend coding meetups to connect with other coders in person. Building a portfolio of your coding projects is a great way to showcase your skills to potential employers or clients. As you work on projects throughout your learning journey, be sure to save them in a GitHub repository or on a personal website. Your portfolio can include links to your projects, code samples, and descriptions of the skills you've developed. Keep your portfolio updated and continue adding to it as you learn new skills and work on new projects. Learning to code can be a challenging and sometimes frustrating process, but it's important to stay motivated. Celebrate your successes no matter how small and don't let setbacks discourage you. Surround yourself with positive influences, whether it's a supportive friend or family member or a mentor in the coding community. And most importantly, keep in mind why you started learning to code in the first place. We hope you found our step-by-step -step guide on learning to code in six months helpful. Keep in mind that everyone learns at their own pace, so don't feel discouraged if your progress is different from others. Stay committed, stay driven, and continue practicing. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We wish you the very best of luck in your coding endeavors. Remember to keep your passion for technology alive and happy coding.